How much did you guys smoke up tonight? Um, we just started. You just just hit that just pipe when we walked up? What you want, what you want, what you gonna do? When Sherry John Brown come for you. The the call we were responding to was a welfare check. I believe it was probably a neighbor that called in and had said that uh, somebody was yelling or seemed like they were in distress and needed help. Yeah, when we initially approached the house, we were going to the front door. There was a light on that was in the, the side window. Went to see what was going on, took a look in, and then right there in plain view were several people using uh, what appeared to be illegal narcotics. They're doing meth. It's a meth pipe. It's a meth pipe. There's like four people. It's a meth pipe they're smoking. Yeah, the uh, officers up front, they, they knocked on the door. This caused the suspects to start fleeing from the house. We were waiting on the, the back side there, and when the two males came down off of the stairs, I decided it was probably time to try and get them to stop before it turned into too much of a chase. Boise, please, stop. Don't move. Don't move. Get on the ground. I didn't even do it. Get on the ground, now. Okay. okay. Lay down, all the way down, all the way down. All the way down. There was a few other people there that were friends and, and associates of, of mostly the son. And uh, so we dealt with primarily at that point the, the son and his mother. She came clean on all of it, told us what it was, said she had meth, said she had marijuana, said that the pills, if they were hydrocodones. You know, it was, <laughs> was kind of kind of crazy because she opened up immediately and just told us there wasn't really any holding back. Let's just not play dumb, just tell me what I saw. Because I can work with people that work with me a lot better than those that don't. So what do you think I saw through the window? I don't know, oh, smoking. Come on. Yeah, okay, thank you. What were we smoking? David already was honest, why don't you be honest? Yeah. She, she offered to take us back into the house, show us where those things are and retrieve them. Yeah, there's a little nightstand that's right there. She tells us that there's gonna be meth in the Bible. Uh, after retrieving that, there was other forms of paraphernalia and, and narcotics that were present there as well. Yeah, we brought them all back in, sat them down, said, look, you know, it is what it is. We've got to deal with it. We saw you with it. We know you've got it. We're going to reward you with not giving us a hard time over this. Everybody's going to get the paraphernalia, possession of marijuana, possession of controlled substance felony, which is the meth. You know, I don't, I don't know all the ins and outs of their family, but no matter what's going on there, that's sad. That's sad that, uh, that it's just that accepted in their home to both think that it's okay to, to do that and neither one of them are really looking at it as what's this doing to my mom and what's this doing to my son and how that's breaking up their family. It, it, it really is a sad, sad incident. It's a sad situation. I'm gonna ask you straight, have you used any meth today? Because you really are exhibiting a lot of signs that you're high ran all, all the way down, man, all the way back. You're shaking like a paint mixer. I know my right, Pope. Hey, Pope, hey. you don't have no reason. Hands behind your back! Hands behind your back! Four, three, two. What's your route to the alarm interface? Two, Charlie, two, can you write with Baker three on the instructional auto? 